<sighs> you finally made it. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard.
that'll teach us for getting cocky. We've reached our destination. Right. Good. Hmm. You don't say. Hmm. <laughs> right. Agreed. I sense a strange power from this. Finally made it. What do you all say to taking the path less trodden for once? Path? I don't see any path. Do you mean that thing that looks like an animal trail? Path may be a generous term. I'm assuming you know where it leads? Hmm. My gut says to a bridge. <laughs> Hoodle says your gut's wrong. Really? Well, it is definitely in the right general direction. Not that main roads are necessarily danger-free, but he does have an uncanny knack for insisting on some strange and unique routes. Elfin always did like a challenge. Can't say I appreciate some of the more daredevil ways he's taken us, though. Like the landslide he insisted was a shortcut before disappearing off the edge? Nearly gave me a heart attack. I'll say, yet the intrepid explorer looked as happy as a pig in muck. Probably best we stick to doing our own orienteering in the future. Hey, so what about this route then? Maybe if we pretend we can't hear him. Don't you think the path forward is fraught enough without making extra problems for ourselves? Maybe best to reel it back. Good point. I say we stick to the main track like regular travelers for once. Uh, guys? <sighs> I will break down this wall! <laughs> hey, Law. Been training? Yeah, I guess I got a little carried away. You think this is bad, you should see the state of my underwear. Yeah, a word of advice. You might want to refrain from mentioning that stuff around girls. Ones without a military history, especially. Man, can you imagine Rinwell's face? She'd have a nervous breakdown. I meant in general, but... You sure mention her a lot, you know. Huh? Oh, I, uh, I... You know, she's always there, even when you least expect it. Springs to mind easily. Either that, or maybe some part of you is subconsciously always wishing she was there. May the trials and tribulations of young romance never change. R romance Like I'd be interested in that know-it-all tomboy. 
I'm more about mature women. Someone more like Kisara. You know, I used to be a tomboy too when I was Rinwell's age. Look, it's not tomboys I have anything against. But come on, you've got to admit she can be a lot to handle. Hey, I miss anything? What's all the fuss about? Uh, Rinwell. <laughs> Thunderblade! Ah! What the hell was that for? A little birdie told me you were speaking about me behind my back. <sighs> From the looks of it, I'd say you've got yourself a rival. It wouldn't be called the Spring of Youth without a little storm every now and then. Hey, Xion. How are you and Alfin getting on these days? That's a little out of the blue. Why do you ask? Sorry. It's just... I don't know. I'm just curious, I guess. I mean, a lot's changed now he's got his senses back and all. <sighs> I suppose you're right. Well, to tell you the truth, if he'd been the way he is now back when I'd first met him, I probably wouldn't have gotten this involved. But then, if we hadn't met like we did, then I never would have experienced these feelings, so... <sighs> I guess... it's complicated. I can imagine. I know it's not the same thing, but... I know what it feels like to have someone you love who's out of reach. Because of Megal. Alfin's still alive. It's not too late, you know. And after all, who can say what the future holds? I think if I were you, I'd take things as they come for now. Besides, touch isn't everything. I've never touched you, Xion. But that doesn't stop you from knowing that I care about you, right? That's true. But I do remember back when we first met, you made it plenty clear you weren't my biggest fan. Long time ago. There were lots of things I didn't understand back then. Uh, not that that's the point. Don't worry, I'm only teasing. I know what you mean. Thank you. And you're right. There are ways to convey your feelings besides just touching. I'll say. Cooking immediately springs to mind. And if it's someone's favorite dish, all the better. If there's something on your mind that you want to tell him, why not try appealing directly to his stomach? You might just have a point. I'll give it a shot. Uh-oh. If it's Alpin's palette you're appealing to, that doesn't bode well for the rest of us. Well, well, friendship is about being supportive. Sometimes we just have to do our best and take one for the team, right? Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Even after staying here, we never truly got to the bottom of what makes this realm's citizens tick. Renan and Danon are meaningless distinctions here. To have one's own mind is strictly forbidden. All that matters is blind obedience. That might be the case now, but it can't always have been like that. There must have been something more. Once, maybe. Question is, is that something still salvageable? If it's not, we'll just have to make something new. No, not we. They've had enough foisted on them as it is. You're right. It's time the people here had the chance to forge their own path. That's not to say it'll be easy, but it will be worthwhile. These things take time to... What the... An ambush? S sorry Sorry There was a huge flying bug and I sort of shot without thinking. A bug? You mean like a Zugal? Something tells me she would have shot it, whether it was a Zugal or not. This realm is teeming with humid forests. It's only natural insects would feel more at home here than Menencia. In fact, I seem to recall reading somewhere that bugs around these parts lay their eggs in human food to ensure healthy incubation. <laughs> Sounds like they're tougher than they look. Wh what about you, Alfin? Bugs don't creep you out? I wouldn't say I was their number one fan. Mind you, if times get desperate enough, I've been known to eat them. Insects as a culinary option, you say? What kind of seasoning are we talking? Dohalim, I don't think he was talking about cooking them. Hey, a lizard! Ah! I never thought about this until now, Alfin. But 
Doesn't it get hot wearing that armor all the time? You feel heat and cold again, don't you? Admittedly, yeah. It can get pretty toasty in this thing. Is it hard when your back starts to itch? Oh, you bet. Plus, my shoulders get stiff wearing it, even if it's not all that heavy. Kisara looks like she manages all right with her armor. Armor takes a strong body and a stout heart. Spoken like a true guardsman. Not that I really get what you mean. The more I think about it, the more I realize what a pain it must be. Like, what do you do when you need to take a leak? Ew! That part can be a bit of a pain, yeah. More things to take off. That sucks, man. Wouldn't it be easier if you just walked around outside of your armor most of the time instead? You never know when the enemy might attack. As tempting as it might be to take it off, it's not worth getting killed over. So basically, you're screwed if you ever get attacked while taking a dump. Right, Rinwell? Are you doing this on purpose? All we have to do is get rid of that thing, right? Some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. <laughs> Retreat if you know what's good for you. No armor can stop me! <laughs> Remind me to stay on your good side. Zorokon shall break this night. A fascinating art there. Care to give it a try? Uh, no, no. A little unrefined for my taste. That? This will be a delicious piece of cake. Here I go. Please, I'm only done. getting started. Wow, look what 
I just found. Let's Take see what you've got. Earth. I'll Don't take you all off. Hit. Be still. Lunar burning. Lunar burning. Lunar burning. Flying freaks! Why can't they just sit still? Victory is within reach. Can you take care of them? Dig deep, no sooner we can do this. Trust is further, little one. Not so fun now. You fight better at a distance. The further away, the better. You and I both. An astral force? That's my key! You're truly incredible. In an instant! Impact cross! We work well together. Like a fine time force. Can't believe we have an inner. Nicely done. Like the Zoogle we were told about. An opponent like this should be the easy. Green face, green blood, 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 Keep our eyes on the prize. Always good to be back in familiar territory. Hey, Alfin! What do you think of that chick over there? Doesn't look like she really works out. I'm not talking about her muscles, you dummy! <laughs> yeah! No! <laughs> you did it! <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah! Sign, we should be making a Huro sign. Ah, he's feeling threatened by arrival. Rising up! I've lost him! Here! Flame of Fury! Flame of Fury! Catapult! 
Victory for the ages. Always good to be back in familiar territory. Hey, Alfin, you mind if we take a bit of a detour? It's fine by me, but what for? Rinwell says there's a phantom flower that grows around here. We want to look for it. It won't take long, promise. A flower, huh? All right, let's take a look. Hey, Rinwell, tell me about your parents. What were they like? They were kind. That's the part I like to remember. They could also be strict, though. Especially when it came to magic. I never understood why I had to work so hard to learn magic. Why we couldn't just be done with it and live openly like everyone else. Needless to say, that didn't go over well. Of course, if I'd had known that one day I'd be doing this, I would have taken my studies more seriously. What about your parents? Same deal. Run through the mill. Told constantly that training was the only way to survive in a world like this. It got bad enough that I ended up running away and siding with the Renans of all people. And now, I've got that training to thank for being alive. I know how that feels. The first time we met, you risked using your magic to stop me from kicking my dad's ass. You could have done anything else. You could have ignored it. So, why? Yeah, I guess something about Zephyr reminded me of my own father. 
You don't say. So, did your pops and mine look a lot like each other? Not really. Not at all, in fact. I don't know how to explain it. I just felt a resemblance, I guess. Wow. Well, I won't pretend I understand, but I'm glad. Your dad must have been a great guy. He was. Maybe it's the snow soaking up all the sound, but something about Cislodia always feels mysterious to me. Solemn, almost. When it comes to solemnity, I'd say our own Ottolina Palace is no slouch. I won't argue with you there. Still, that azure tint of the shadows on the silvery white snow, it has a certain indescribable quality. Indeed. It was boorish of me to even suggest such a comparison. All I know is it's freaking cold. Still, more pleasant now that the locals aren't quite as frosty towards us. Hmm. Well, excuse me if I'm too frosty for your warm self. Oh, come on! You know I didn't mean you. Besides, really, I'm the one who... How about we stop getting hung up on the past for a change? Take what you've learned and put it to use in the future instead. An unexamined past can be just as dangerous in its own right. Better that than obsessing over it like a certain someone I know. Kisara doesn't mince her words, does she? I could say the same thing about one or two of the other women around here. Tell me about it! I think I'll refrain from commenting on this one. Poodle, I've got some dried fish for you. You want some? Huh. Forget that. Doesn't some tasty red meat sound better, boy? <laughs> hey! Stop trying to coax him away with treats! Get your own adorable sidekick if you're so desperate for one! <laughs> he appears to enjoy being the center of attention. Funny how things change. He and Renwell used to be joined at the hip, or shoulder to Talon. It's not just Hoodle who's become more trusting. Isn't that so, Rinwell? They do say pets and their owners act alike. I suppose since we've been together, I've done my share of coming out of my own shell, too. Well then, I guess with you and Hoodle, that makes us all one big, happy family. Sometimes when I'm deep in thought, Hoodle will come over and sit next to me. I only wish I could actually pet him. Oh, you will someday. You won't believe how soft he is. Wish I had that problem. I'm lucky if I can so much as look at old Featherbrain without him trying to claw me to ribbons. Really? He seems tame enough around everyone else. Maybe it's just Hoodle's way of establishing dominance? That's dogs, not owls. What's going on when Hoodle pecks at you? Uh, I don't know. Like when I'm talking to Rinwell, it's like he's trying to muscle me out or something. Unless... Wait. You don't suppose I make him jealous? Come again? <laughs> Ow! Ah, get off of me, you insecure fluffball! <laughs> I rather think they make a good comedic pairing. Don't give up! First aid! 
beyond. Imbue this vanquished Listen. soul with life. Down. Each turn. Resuscitation. Here, 
Shining strength! Blah, 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 magic! Field! Board up! Here goes, Sparky! Yourself. I sense incredible power. Sword Lane Alpha! Select 
in a bind. It's time to finish this. Die. Consuming wildfire. Back into the fray! Meg! Just what I needed! Oh, I'm not in your dreams! Seismic rupture! I'm prison! Death of the wind! Puddles! Just what the doctor ordered! Burning strikes! was with that creature. It was some sort of a Zugal that could control light. Rinwell, do you think that could have been... The true form of the Phantom Flower? No, it couldn't be. What makes you so sure? Because... What the... Whoa! What the hell is that? Is the enemy back for more? Whatever it is, it's freaking huge! You guys, calm down. It's okay. It's probably... No, it's definitely the Phantom Flower of Navira. I read about it in that book we found earlier. It was described as a mysterious light floating up in the sky. It's not dangerous at all. In fact, this is the place it was first discovered. So that's how it got its name, then. You sure it's not some enemy astral art being cast at us? Positive. I think it's just a rare and unusual weather phenomenon more than anything else. Cislodia obviously used to be covered in darkness around the clock. But with that gone, I guess that's why we're able to see this again? You could be right. It's so pretty, though, isn't it? Sure. But it's so big we could have seen it from town just fine, couldn't we? Well, sure, but still. Hey, who cares where we saw it? I'm just glad we got to see it at all. Besides, that Zugal was what kept us from seeing it before, right? Yeah, I guess so. It's such a gorgeous night sky here. You should really bring Xion out to watch it. Right. Right. I'll, uh, do it.
do that. It took a lot to get here, but I can't help but feel like a dream of mine came true. Thanks, Law. I didn't do all that much, really. Well, I still really appreciate it. It made me really, really happy. Uh, hey, uh, you know I... Oh, it looks like you can see it even better from over there. I'm gonna go check it out. Huh? Hey, wait! Renwell. <sighs> I sense a strange power from this. I've been doing really great lately. We've reached our destination. I feel like somebody's watching us. Yes! Hmm. Excuse me! Agreed. Very nice. Dohalim, the line of researchers is getting longer. Perhaps I should have put more thought into this before accepting. It's good to be back in familiar territory. Hmm. Right! Sax-Leo Temple. Isn't that where Shion was being held? Shh! Wasn't it beautiful? I can't wait for this! Hmm. <sighs> Finally made it. I think there's someone in trouble here. 
Why? Huh. Oh, yes. My thanks. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I can't say I'm impressed. You're making promises too freely. And that last exchange... Niaz is beset with grief. As a responsible Renan, it falls to me to extend my hand. <gasps> I don't think it should be your burden to take on. Yeah. I see. Good. so well. Was it really right for them to separate? It was his choice, and he ultimately chose the lady over his friend. I can only hope this helps her in her recovery. Something happened. Uh, hey. Hmm. Uh, mm hmm. Yes. Hmm. Just great. A uh, house got it. Hey. Yay! All right. this <sighs> I never realized before just how hot this place is it's like being inside a fire you're only just noticing ah yes forgive me the whole lack of sensory feedback situation that's the one it's hard to believe I once worked in this soup let alone helped spearhead a revolution and all with the mask concealing your face it must have been very grimy beneath that Back then, we had our plates full enough dealing with constant abuse from our Renan overlords. It never occurred to me the air itself was oppressive in its own way. My head spinning just with the effort it takes to walk. Uh, I think that's called heat stroke. You might want to take a sip of water. You mean that water that's been festering under the sun for days? I wouldn't chance it without boiling it first. Oh, I know! I'll go to the dock and fetch us some clean water. Water alone won't suffice. 
He'll need to ensure his sodium levels are replenished as well. In that case, let's see if we can rustle up some rock salt. Alfin, you go cool off in the shade for a while. Xion, stay and keep an eye on him. And then there were two. Bit of an overreaction, but it's still kind of them. Maybe it's not the time, but this place brings back memories. I know what you mean. We're back where it all started. You don't ever regret meeting me sometimes, do you? Are you kidding? You started all of this, bringing down the wall, retrieving my sense of self. I have no regrets. <sighs> uh... Ahem! <clears throat> ah, oh, uh, welcome back, Law. We've reached our destination. for these owls. Maybe he really was a nice guy once. People are not born immutable. They change. And not always for the better. <sighs> this time it was for the better, though. Indeed.
Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. This is perfect! I'll have everybody's mouths watering when they see this! Did we really just spend that much money? 